All right. Hope you guys out there are doing pretty good. Uh, here's my uh, update for the 77 Chevy. Basically what happened was, okay, I'll give you guys the background story here. I bought this transmission, this transfer case used off of a guy that was in a four-wheeling club, I guess you'd call it, locally. You know, uh, same one I was in. Now, he told me he got these off his friend, um, used to, and he said that they were, uh, rebuilt 5,000 miles ago. Now, I don't know if this kid didn't rebuild them correctly, like if he didn't know what he was doing. Uh, I can tell you that he didn't buy a kit because all the gasket surfaces are done with RTV and they should be done with uh, new gaskets if you bought a kit. You know, you'd get new uh, bearings, thrust washers, gaskets, and um, obviously synchros. Anyway, um, the transfer case had a little surface rust in it. It wasn't bad. It's a little noisy, but I think it's fine. The transmission was fairly noisy but then again it is a truck heavy duty transmission so it's gonna make noise um, but it it always every once in a while it'd pop a gear which a rebuilt transmission shouldn't do uh, maybe it could in the beginning I guess if the synchros weren't completely set up right but it, it should never pop gear and uh, it just got recently it just got to the point where it was popping Pretty much every time you use first gear, uh, if you use the pattern low, one, two, three, reverse, uh, the other pattern would be one, two, three, four, it'd be second gear in that pattern. Anyway, the gear that you use all the time when you're in traffic and not pulling something heavy, because the first gear is like a granny gear, it's so low that you pretty much shift right away, and it's unsynchronized as well. Anyway. Damn thing popping every single time you use it. You can never tell if it's in or out or what. Uh, really frustrating because this whole thing, I would guess that that transmission probably weighs 100 to 150 pounds. Transfer case about the same, so it's a pretty, you know, all cast iron. They're pretty, pretty freaking heavy units, so it, it's a real pain in the ass to pull these things out and put them in. Anyway, so this. Transmission's popping gear, so I had a couple options. Um, I could buy a rebuild kit for $250, do it myself. I could send it out to a rebuild shop, get it done by them. Probably I asked the guy locally. He said he paid about 100 or uh, about 500 bucks to have his rebuilt. So that's quite a bit more money than I have, and uh, just not an option. Rebuild kit was an option, but then again, you know, I'm sure all it needs is a synchro. I'm sure the synchro is just scrapped in it. So, um, you know, I could rebuild it. Um, as far as cause, like I said, I I just believe this thing was not rebuilt. He might have opened it up and looked at it, but I I don't think it was rebuilt. If it was, the only thing I can think is that it, it was running a GL5 in it. It's only been in it about a year. But the GL5 uh, reacts with brass and that could have eaten up the synchro, possibly. Um, but you know, I've heard other people running GL5 in these heavy duty monthsies and they haven't had a problem, so you know, take that for what it's worth. Anyway, so I went out to a town locally on Craigslist and I found a guy who had a couple transmissions and a transfer case he wanted to sell. So, I picked those up. I picked up that one. It's an SM465. Same transmission as this one. Uh, 10 spline out, so it'll made up to my transfer case. So, I cleaned it up, painted it. You know, it wasn't leaking or anything. Um, it's a newer one. You can tell because it's got the chrome shift knob. Mine had the black shift knob, so it's a quite a bit older transmission. I believe he said it was out of an 80s pickup. So he came, came with that transmission. Um, which is mated to this transfer case. Again, 
I'm kind of a little light here, guys, but it's an NP205 gear driven transfer case. Um, 10 spline adapter again, and it's got an aluminum slip yoke uh, housing on it, so I know it's an older one. I mean, a newer one, as far as they go. Mine's fixed yoke, so it's quite a bit older. I know that transfer case by the date code is from 1977. So, that one over there is quite a bit newer. This one's from 77. And I also got this transmission with the deal. Now, this transmission is also a newer one. And the coveted 32 spline out. So this does not use that little coupler sleeve that the 10 splines use that totally gets screwed up. 32 spline, the most heavy duty you could get in SM465. So this is like the one to have. Um, I think I'm going to hold on to it. I don't have a round pattern MP205 hanging around to, to bolt up to this. I do have the adapter and everything, but... Um, and it, he put the, the top cover from this transmission on his other transmission because this one, um, this was the top cover that was originally on that other transmission. As you can see right there, it's cracked. So he did that. Oh, shit. Try to lift this off here for you guys. Anyway, you can see the other one had a rebuild sticker on it, and I think it might be rebuilt because you can see all this paint. The blue paint and the green paint on the synchro. The synchros look really fresh in this one. Um, it spins nice. You know, it's got some surface rust and shit in it. But I think it would clean up and it'd be a great transmission. So I'm going to hold on to this in case I ever decide to either go double or transfer case or um whatnot with this truck but that's that's the one to have that's the SM465 to have the other option I could is I could have this older one machine to the round bolt pattern the six circle uh, just have that and then I could plug off the other holes in it and uh, get the input uh, shaft for 32 spline if I wanted to change that over, so uh, here's the gear oil that came out. As you can see, it's still fairly clean. You know, I thing just ate up a synchro, I guess. So what I'm gonna, my plan is is I'm gonna try to put the transmission in first and then mate this up to it. I'm using an overhead crane, or I mean a cherry picker to do this. Seems to be the easiest way, aside from a transmission jack. But yep, this is the projects going on, guys. It's a lot of transmission fun, as you can see. That's a uh, Muncie SM465. Pretty much one of the strongest uh, GM transmissions you can get. Uh, the only downside is they don't have uh, overdrive like the NV4500 would. But they're cast iron and pretty tough. and pretty rugged little transmission so hopefully this one will hold up and it's going to be getting a turbo diesel in front of it eventually so we'll see anyways um try to get a video when i get this installed which hopefully will be today because i need to go pick up my motor from the machine shop uh, yeah. So take care, guys.